hi guys welcome back to my channel so today I'm gonna show you how I make my fried chicken Haitian style so let's go ahead and get straight to the recipe so I am using chicken drumstick you may use chicken um, you can use thighs um, you know the leg quarter whatever you want to use but I would say drumstick so let's go ahead and start cleaning the chicken you're gonna of course remove the skin from the drumstick we're not gonna leave the skin remove it all and remove every little ex excess fat extra fats that is on the drumstick So after you have removed all the skin from the chicken, we're going to go ahead and squeeze a lime juice on it and we're going to also, also cut through it and make a lime so the seasoning could get into it real good. So go ahead and do that and then we're going to rub it with the lime. If you don't have fresh lime, lemon is fine or bitter orange if you could find that which is so rare, it's so hard to find here in this country but if you live in a city like Massachusetts or Florida, you're going to find it. Or New York New Jersey any state that is very diverse you're gonna find it so after rubbing that lime on it we're gonna go ahead and rinse it give it a nice rinse and then after that bring it to your bowl we're gonna pour hot boiling water so your water should have been boiling while we were removing the skin I should have mentioned that so go ahead and do that be sure to boil some water and go ahead and pour the hot boil water over it and give it a stir in the water you know that part is called chaudet that will help the chicken get a little bit more tender and remove impurities and all that good stuff it does to it all that bad stuff it removes anyways after that go ahead and transfer your chicken to the bowl that you're gonna go ahead and marinate it so we're adding a piece if you don't know how to make a piece i do have a link and I, I have a recipe i will link it in the description box below be sure to check it out and go ahead and use chicken bouillon cube if you don't like using that you don't have to you can use something else substitute it for an all-purpose chicken seasoning my all-purpose chicken seasoning is over i have to go grab some and i'm so lazy to go to the store so we're using some of that we're not using that many stuff, you know, we're gonna keep it simple. This is the thing about Haitian food, fried chicken. It's, you don't add too much because the piece itself is enough, you know. We're gonna keep it simple, add a little bit of that, those things. And then after that, let it marinate overnight if you have that much time. But if you don't, just leave it for a little bit, let it marinate for a little before we cook it. So I'm adding some black pepper. We're gonna add some orange juice, a teaspoon of orange juice, bitter orange juice, and a teaspoon of lime juice. If you don't have lime juice, use lemon juice. Whatever you have, whatever acidity that you have on your hand, go ahead and do that. And we're also gonna add some olive oil to marinate it. Some goya adobo, a teaspoon of that. And two tablespoons of olive oil. And go ahead and marinate that. Use your hand or use a spoon, whatever you want to use, really. And go ahead and marinate it. Let the chicken, let the seasoning get into the chicken, all of it, everywhere. And then set it aside and let it sit for a few hours. Let it marinate for a few hours or overnight. I personally love marinating my meat overnight, my poultry, anything. I love it to be marinated overnight. It tastes much better. The seasoning really gets into it, so that's my preference but not all of us have this amount of time in our hands honestly so I'm also using cloves but what I do is I stick my cloves into the pepper so that way it's not all over the food and sometimes we always you end up getting all over the food anyway because the pepper breaks and it, come, it cooks and it's mushy and it's like it, it's whatever so you can do that or just throw it in there whatever you want and some fresh thyme in 
parsley go ahead and trim it now after your chicken has marinated go ahead and add the Two, two, two tablespoons of olive oil in your pot that you're gonna cook it in and then go ahead and transfer the chicken that is room temperature in the pot so we're gonna cook it we're only adding two table two cups of water and go ahead and let it cook for 25 to 30 minutes don't let it overcook see how it's cooked now perfect like that and you won't need to add any more water cook it on medium high heat Go ahead and remove the chicken now from the pot, add the cooked chicken. And then we're gonna go ahead and fry it. So I'm using canola oil to fry, but if you want, you can use vegetable oil, whatever oil that you wanna use. Just don't use coconut or olive oil for deep frying. So go ahead now, transfer your chicken to the hot oil. Let it stop popping. Use a cover because you don't want to get burned and you don't want too much mess. Oh, I hate frying, honestly, you guys. That's one thing. I, I love fried food, but I hate frying. Like, I cannot wait to have my own place so I can fry my stuff outside in the backyard. You know? Because so, I hate the smell of frying in the house, man. I, oh, that gets... Oh, that's why I don't like... I don't fry all the time. I only fry once in a while because I just don't like the smell. I try to get rid of it as much as I can. I burn sage. I do all that stuff. <laughs> Anyways, go ahead and let your chicken fry. Make sure your heat is not too hot, too hot, or you know it's hot enough, 350 degrees, okay? Because you don't want to over, you don't want to burn it. Because you want to put in the oil, you want it to get a good color. So you're gonna fry it for three to five minutes, not too long. Just, you just want that color because the chicken's already cooked, so you don't need to fry it for so long. You just want that nice color, the crisp. Oh, that's what you're looking for, okay? So go ahead and leave it in there for three to five minutes. Depends on how big your chicken thighs are too, because some chicken thighs here be so big and it's like this scary. Anyways, go ahead and flip it, and now you can see it's ready to come out. You don't want to dry it. Don't let it. If you fry it too much, it's gonna become dry. You want it to still be a little bit juicy, because some of the fried chicken in the restaurants, man, they be so dry. That's because the oil is too hot and they've over fry it. So you don't want to do any of that. So go ahead and remove it from the heat, and you guys, this is your chicken. Eat that with some pickles and some banana pizza. Oh my goodness, it looks good. So you can see that it's not it's not over fried. It's you can see it's still a little bit tender in the inside. So yes, that is it, you guys. I pair this with some fried plantains and some pickles. Oh my goodness, Lord, you guys. I hope you give this recipe a try. It's very easy. It's super delicious. And as always, thank you for watching and be sure to subscribe to this channel for more. Thank you.